Yeah, Bill and Candace Mayor Stoney saying in his letter to federal officials that this report shows a troubling example, he says, of how health disparities can play out on economic and racial lines. After a New York Times report on Richmond Community Hospital, CBS 6 was flooded with messages from concerned patients of the nonprofit network who owns it, Bon Secours. The profit over patients investigation alleges Bon Secours uses a federal drug program to buy medication at half price through Richmond Community, which sits in a low-income neighborhood. Bon Secours then charges insurers nearly full price for those drugs even if the patient never visits Richmond community and then rakes in hundreds and millions of dollars in profit. Money the 340B program states should go back into facilities in low-income areas, but former employees allege resources at Richmond community were instead slashed, while other Bon Secours facilities saw upgrades. In a letter published Tuesday, Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney asks the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services to investigate Bon Secours' use of 340B, saying, quote, Inadvertent loopholes have been utilized, increasing profit margins for the hospital system while they have reduced services in one of our predominantly black communities. It is immoral to profit off the backs of black and brown residents under the guise of health care and must cease immediately. Bon Secours calls any allegations they're not operating to improve health outcomes for vulnerable communities, quote, baseless. A spokesperson saying they've invested $8 million in programs for the East End since 2018 and are actively engaged in a $21 million upgrade to Richmond community. And the 340B program uh, that was featured in that article is an absolutely critical program. U.S. Senator Tim Kaine says his concern lies in part with smaller community health systems. Most are not big like Bon Secours. It might be a free clinic in, you know, or a federal health center in Rockbridge County that absolutely needs this program. And I, I'm, just, I'm just worried that the story is going to cause a lot of people to have really serious questions about a program that our safety net providers need. So Bon Secours needs to have an answer and, and we're going to dig into it. Bon Secours sending us a statement tonight that says they are fully compliant with the 340B program and that they utilize the money they make off of it to reinvest in the community according to their statement.